So, last video, you saw Dalton and I fitting up the Dorky Dory Arrow. Very happy with how that fit. And today we're going to try to test fit some wheels. Now, the reason why we can't mount them is there's a couple reasons. The coilovers that are in the car right now are really bad with barely any adjustment. Secondly, the car can't be like fully lowered because we still need to be able to drive it onto the dyno because it needs to get dyno tuned. So it's going to stay on stock wheels until the tune. I think we should test fit some wheels. So uh, let's get right into it. Oh, and then after I was, uh, you know, I had that unboxing from stuff I bought from Japan. I did buy more stuff. That's the last of it. Had a little intervention with myself. Said, you got to stop buying random crap you can't use from Japan. So the final box of crap I bought for now is here. So after we test fit some wheels, we'll open that up and take a look. Let's take a look at the wheels we're going to test fit. Obviously, the obvious choice is the long champs because they're 15s. But just for fun, we're going to test fit the 14 by 10 Mark IIs and the 14 by 9 Focus Racing. No point in testing these, test fitting these 14 inch long champs because of poo spec. No sense in test fitting the singles. Work Equipo 3s are 4x100. And the watts are 5x114.3. Mark II going on, 14 by 10 and a half, negative 39 I believe, it's a 6 or 6 and a half inch lip. Now these normally take shank lugs, I don't have any shank lugs, but we're just going to kind of rest it on there. But oh, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, Looks cool, but ain't no way. Damn. Mark II's do look sick, though. All right, it's pissing down right in the middle of our uh, wheel test fit. So I guess until this frogs off, let's go unbox that stuff from Japan. Another box. First item. It's well wrapped. It's pretty beat. Trust Grex. Ooh. A real Nismo lighter plug. Veal side. Six speed shift knob. Another veal side. Six speed. Shift knob, kind of truss Grex style. Another knob. This one's like a trust Grex style. I think an adapter has been attached in the bottom. Again, no sticker. But uh, I have some coming. Alright, so this is a really small steering wheel. I believe it's... 290 millimeter or 300 millimeter. It's a Nardi deep corn. Um, it was really cheap because it's actually broken here at the top. Don't know how that happens, but uh, it was like 50 bucks, so be good for the sim. Last item is a Marlboro Adventure fleece, kind of Patagonia style. Quarter zip. So again, quick overview. Trust Greg style shift knobs without the buttons. Two veal side six speed shift knobs for Toyota. Nismo lighter. Marlboro fleece. Small 300 millimeter steering wheel. Broken Nardi deep corn. And Peyton wood grain. Never mind, this kind of actually does fit. A little bit short, but uh. <laughs> I feel like a dog collar. The rain never subsided, so we're here the next day. 
Daltman's here. Yes. Hi. We're going to get the rear end up in the air and then start putting some wheels on. All right, both Mark II's are on. Jesus. These are 14 by 10 and a half. Negative something. They got like six and a half inch lips. <laughs> Look at this. I'll roll a little bit of camber and she'll be mint, man. <laughs> Yeah, barely anything really. It looks really cool though. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> oh, it's potent. That helps a little bit. Oh. And then they stick like an onion in it and then like chop the left, like the rest of it off. And uh. Oh, super glue? Yeah, and then like fill it with like filler. Oh, and it, it plugs the hole that's in the pipe. All right, there's the Focus racing wheels on there. A little bit? Definitely not as bad as the Mark IIs, though. Honestly, you could work with that. That looks pretty cool, man. I like the gold faces with the with the blue. Yeah, it actually works well. That color uh, contrast. How's the front? The front looks fine. The front is really nice. Yeah, if you lowered that, it would be... I don't want to say it, but I think 14 is just too small for, uh, for this car. I think, yeah. We'll see at the end. Because next that's we'll throw the, uh, the long champs on. It, it is potentially too small. For drivability, I mean... It's just if you want it really low without absolutely... I mean, a little bit of underside destruction is, is needed from scraping, but... Yeah. This that's would just, just be... So yeah, this would just be too much. Like it was meant to be. Why does the rear look huge? Yeah, it, look it looks like a 17 or something. Alright, so there's the long champs on. A little bit of poke for now. Quite a bit actually. Yeah. A little bit. The rear looks fairly fact. And you'll have natural cameras on Yeah, well, there's all adjustable arms in the rear. All right, well, that's pretty much it. The long champs, especially the rear, looks like an absolute 18 on it. So meaty. Looks huge. Everybody go to the races. But so right. Yeah, are we about to hit the drag strip or what? It's coming together. It's coming together. Yeah, I'm excited. I need to get this thing tuned ASAP so we can, and get some coilovers so we can uh, make it actually like this. You yeah? know? Yeah. So yeah, the long champs are likely going to be what stays on. Obviously, once it's tuned and we can slam it on some coilovers, we'll camber the wheels in both uh, front and rear so we don't have so much poke. And obviously the car will be lower than this. I wonder if I should go like, I kind of want to leave like a bit of space here so the car like actually drives nice. You know, like not fully on its... Like I don't even mind that much like wheel gap. No. Looks it's good. not a lot. I think, yeah, and then once you get like a little smaller tire. Yeah. Because these are too fat. They're huge. These like tractor tires, but yeah. honestly, I don't mind that. At least not for now, so I can actually enjoy the car a bit. Maybe one day. Slam it all the way. You'll be able to stuff it in there a little better than I. Yeah. And the camber will help greatly. <clears throat> yeah, looks pretty cool, man. Yeah, wow. Looks good. Really cool, man. Alright, well that pretty much does it for this video. Next video is going to be us prime the... the Engine bay. Prime the engine bay of the 8.6, and then after that we're going to paint the engine bay. So, um, it's pretty exciting. Yeah. Because then it can start coming together once that's done. So, as always, comment, like, 
subscribe. What should they comment? I don't know. Long chat? Oh, got, there's got to be like a question. Oh, oh. oh she's deceased. Oh, uh, man. I don't know. I don't like being put on the spot like this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How about what wheel you guys think should go on this? If I didn't have these long champs and could buy any wheel, <clears throat> and was going to buy any wheel, what wheel do you think would be the best suited for this car? Comment that below. I like that. Yeah. It's a good one. And uh, if you want to support the boys, pick up some merch. Style is not a crime. Hoodies and t-shirts are still on the website. Look at that. Crown Vic slammed on some long champs. Look at that. Just a good, good piece of clothing. I support Moist Boys. Nice. What's this mod you forgot about? Mod of all mods. The Nismo lighter. The real one. Wow. Very exciting. So exciting. The boys are trying to hit a million K up on that YouTube desk.